All right, Shalom, Shalom, peace Israel. First off, I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And sincere Shalom to all you men preaching this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, and Shalom to you striving and sincere believers, okay? All right, it's your brother Shemagara coming to you with another lesson. Okay, and I don't really have a title for this one, but I'm going to be touching on the topic of leadership. Okay, topic of true leadership. All right, because anything, any business, okay, it said, you know, the scriptures compare this truth, all right, or this work, this ministry to a business has to have great leadership in order to be successful from the top down all the way to the bottom, okay? And this body, all right, has a leadership group, okay? And how do you know it's uh, it's the right leaders? It's the doctrine that they teach, okay? You filter it out through, through the scriptures and you and whoever's teaching 100% truth, all right? It has a good conscience and, um, you know, don't have too many gimmick well not any gimmicks at all but you know we all got our um our ways to get the point across but as you can use gal and, and righteously is what i'm saying but the true leadership all right it would have to be great millstone man the elders okay and their elders before them they had leaders okay and that's how they grew with teachers okay and i'm driving so I can't really be as thorough as I want, but I, I compiled a list of scriptures, okay, that I, just to prove my point, all right, about leadership. And really the true leadership is a testament to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah because they're not going to set up, well, you know, you got false prophets, you know, it's a balance, but you also have the true prophets, okay, the true teachers, the true apostles, the true disciples, Okay, so let's get uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, 6 verses 34. Stand in a multitude of the elders. Okay, how do we do that in these current times, man? We, we, we watch the videos, man. That's how, and that's how most of us got this truth is through the internet. All right, so when you're standing in a multitude in these current times, okay, you're, you're learning. You're looking up, you're trying to grow, all right? And a great way to grow in the spirit, all right, is checking out these video, man. Or if you could catch, you know, certain brothers, okay, um, you know, went, went on the highways and byways. I mean, you know, if it's cool with them, yeah. All right, so that's how we stand in the multitude of the elders. And not, not foolish elders, but wise elders, okay? according to the most high's heart all right and cleave unto him that is wise okay and that's what and, and another way of saying that is holding fast man all right because we got to hold on to the truth for their life because it's all type of perils and uh pitfalls through the spirit that if you don't surround yourself with like-minded men man you can fall to the wayside all right, be taking out this truth altogether, man. And uh, that's a scary feeling, okay? Um, be willing to hear every godly discourse, man. So if it's a godly discourse, man, it, it could do you it could do you some good, all right? It, it's beneficial, okay? And let and let not the parables of understanding escape thee, all right? Because we're the children of the most high so a lot of us speak we, we got we speak kind of slick all right that's how that's how jacob uh speak okay in parables man right and the most High does it too and it's and it's um his son yahweh shah does it or did it all right verse 36 and if thou seest a man of understanding get thee uh but times unto him so you know that's how how do we do that man if you're a brother in another state all right you're trying to listen to the elders and um 
you know, other leaders in Israel, man. Okay? You, 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 well, you know, YouTube is a major force behind this truth. Subscribing, all right? Hitting that notification bar. Staying up on, you know, their lessons, man. All right? And I've grown tremendously, okay? As well as other brothers, man. Okay? Right? Um, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Okay? So you constantly, you constantly trying to be fed, man. All right? And, and why do people eat, man? Because they hungry. They need nourishment. And his word is, is food, man. It's water. Okay? And, and, and Yahweh Shah is that lamb and that and he, he give you that, that water, man. That understanding, that comfort. Okay? Verse 37. Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord and meditate continually. Okay? And these videos, and you know, all these videos and learning and research... I mean, they had you meditating on, you know, stuff you ain't planning on meditating on, man, but that's just the spirit, okay? Right? And a med meditating is a beautiful thing, all right? I, you know, sometimes I try to do a video, and I straight go into meditation mode, just be pondering, all right? And then I got to snap back out of it, and I, and I, you know, do a lesson, all right? I'm a dreamer, man. That's that's how the Lord designed me. I dream, okay. Uh, but everything is a balance, okay. And um, in His commandments, so meditate continually in His commandments, all right? Because the commandments won't steer you wrong, man. And we do it to the best of our abilities. You know these precepts, which are commandments and laws. Not just in Leviticus and Exodus, you know, the volume of the book, there's laws everywhere, okay? And how Shah went deep into those things, man. Why? Because he's the ultimate prophet, all right? He shall establish thine heart, which is your mind, you know, establish, confirm. And give thee wisdom at thy own desire. All right? So we all got different desires, man. All right? And the Most High is basically saying he's going to give you your portion, man. Okay? You know, because certain things you want to get a breakdown or understand or better understand certain things. The Most High is merciful, man. Especially if you fast on it. All right? Pray on it. You know, which we should be doing always, you know, at thy own desire. And, and the two-thirds, they can't get this, man, which is crazy, all right? To us, you know, Lord willing, I'm a part of the hopeful elect, or Salakia, the elect, you know, I'm hoping to be, all right? The two-thirds, man, you would think this is a foreign language, man, all right? Things that are plain, man, all right? You know? Let's go to Hebrews 5, 5 verses 12. For when the time, for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first oracles. So like here. I'm on the highway. Hold on one sec. Okay. Right? Teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of Yahweh, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. So we always got to get back to the basics, and that's why the elders, you know, the apostles and the elders, bishops, you know, and brothers laboring in the truth is in righteousness and sincerity. Okay, um, it's always good to go back to the basics, man, which is compared to milk, all right? As babies drink, man. 
uh, you know? Because that builds a foundation, just like anything you want to master. Got to go back to the basics, okay? So we constantly, you know, for, you know, people getting off put by some of the basic scriptures that come out all the time, man. You know, they're building you up the right way, okay? That's all that is. All right. Um, let's go to Acts 8 verses 26. And this is an example, you know, of a person reading, okay? But you got to really understand what you into, man, what it's really saying. Uh, the context within the text, man, as Christians like to bring out, you're, you're reading it in the wrong context. You know, we, and you know, when you're coming into this thing, you're not on no type of level that goes to all of us, but you learn. And, uh, you know, after a while, you, you, you start to develop or understand the gravity of this thing, man. Okay, the gravity of this thing, man. Right, but that zeal in the beginning, you, you ready to, you know, you ready for your Howard shot to take this whole thing down today. All right. But but it's much more sweet than when you go through the trials and tribulations and earn your crown. All right. You know, that's in that's in a man's nature. A true man likes to earn what he gets. All right? Not not giving handouts, man. All right, so Acts 8 verses 26. And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go toward the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. Okay? Alright. Okay. And he arose. And he arose and went. So he listened. Spirit of the Lord. Okay. And behold, a man of Ethiopia, an Israelite, okay, that was born and raised in Ethiopia. Okay. Highway now, just trying to be safe. Okay, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians. So he had a high position. All right, who had the charge of all her treasure. So he was good with money, right? He was what the U.S. call it a treasury, United States treasury. Okay, it had come to Jerusalem. For to worship. So this man was an Israelite. Okay. Man was an Israelite from Ethiopia. Remember, one of the curses is will be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, looking like every nation. Okay. So just because you see Ethiopian doesn't mean he's a Hamite. All right. All right. Okay, let's um was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah's. Okay. So I think it goes back to Isaiah, the prophet. Then the spirit, okay, said unto Philip, go near and join thyself to this chariot. Okay. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, so this is the, the Ethiopian eunuch responding. And he said, how can I except some man should teach me or should guide me, Salakia? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. So he, he, you know, he wanted that understanding. He wanted those, you know, certain scriptures broken down, man, by, by a leader, by a teacher, which is Philip, man. All 
right? He understood that that was that was that was a wise thing to say, man. Because you know these Christians got the book, but they so proud, they don't want to hear the men of the Lord break it down in the right way, man, in the right context through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakodash, man. Which is you know Yahweh being the heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai being His Son, the Messiah, and the Rakakodash, which which is the Holy Spirit. Okay, you gotta have those three things, man, to get this understanding. I mean, you could, you know, without it, you know, you could understand certain scriptures, all right. But to get the full understanding and have the, you know, rivers of living waters in you, man, you gotta have those three components, man. All right, and that, and, and with that comes teachers, man. Right teachers, righteous teachers, man. What do I mean by righteous? I'm not saying like. You know, these men don't sin or anything because they say all men sin. But, you know, they're teaching you the 100% correct doctrine, man. You know, so the leaders, you know, that's why you got to hold your tongue, man. A lot of these people talking against the apostles, the elders, man. And you, you most I could put you to death for such things, man. All right? So, um... You know, just a little lesson through the spirit. All right. Lord willing was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raha Kodash. Shalom.